Coming up on the special Halloween edition of The Ramen, The Soup for College Students, find out which Halloween candy to look for while trick-or-treating. Plus, an in-depth interview with the world's smartest rapper. But first, find out where you can stalk the Twilight cast. All that and more coming up on The Ramen, The Soup for College Students. Welcome to the ramen. The soup for college students, Halloween edition. I'm Kayla Carey. And I'm Ben Wallace. And we're here to fulfill all your entertainment news needs. And a little more, if you know what I mean. Ben, I gotta ask, what the heck are you dressed up as? Well, K-squared, I'm just so glad you asked. My costume is a representative montage of celebrities whose birthdays fall on this week of Halloween. The shirt clearly says, Happy Birthday to Microsoft Founder Bill Gates and Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. My flag, sing out Feliz Cumpleaños to former Presidents John Adams and Teddy Roosevelt, who is also getting mustache recognition. Napoleon Dynamite turns 33 this week, which is why I'm wearing these awesome glasses, and yes, that does mean he was a 27-year-old high schooler. There are too many celebrity references on and in my body to mention, but I'm sure you'll figure out the rest. Wow, Ben. Cool costume. Yeah, whatever, K-squared. Yeah. But more importantly, in our only breaking news story ever, the lineup for Bayou Country Superfest was announced this morning. And now we are joined by our country music expert and entertainment extraordinaire, Jordan Walden, to talk more about Bayou Country Superfest Part 2. Well, thank you, Ben. I, <laughs> that was quite a complimentary introduction. You're I welcome. couldn't have said it better myself. And in fact, it's like I, I did write it myself. Well, this Bayou Country Superfest thing is bigger than Texas. It's going to be no. here in Tiger Stadium, Tiger Stadium on May 28th and 29th. Just hours ago, the announcement was made, and Kenny Chesney and Tim McGraw are headlining this renowned event. Kenny Chesney just couldn't get enough of us rabble-rousers last year, so we had to come back for some more. And Tim McGraw, who shares the same hometown as another celebrity, yours truly, will show us where the green grass truly grows when he comes to visit. Other big acts include those good old chicken fried patriots, the Zach Brown Band, Sugarland, and Trace Atkins also plans to make an appearance shaking his badonka donk. And as if that weren't enough, Luke Bryan, Billy Currington, Jason Michael, Carol, Lee Bryce, and Josh Thompson will also perform. Tickets go on sale November 10th, awesome. so you better get on this as soon as possible because it's going to be hotter than a dad bird chicken wing on a shoestring, I tell you what. That is hot. This is going to be quite the hoedown. Oh, it is. Are you well, going to that uh, old dad burn Bayou Country Superfest? Well, it is the Bayou Country Superfest. Bayou Country Superfest. Bayou Country Superfest. Bayou Country Superfest. Uh -huh. Okay, so Jordan, Twilight is in town, and uh, this is the third installment of the Twilight series. Dude, not to sound like one of the man lovers, tell you what, but... um. I, I don't like anything much more than Twilight. Twilight is the bee's knees. Well, for those out there who can't wait to see the cast while they're in town, K-Square joins us with a brand new segment, Twilight Watch. Thanks, guys. Like Ben and Jordan said, Twilight's in town, and I'm Twilight's biggest fan, and I'm so excited. And as you can see, the Twilight cast has been sighted all over town. These red X's represent the locations that are most important where they're staying. But most importantly of all of them is this big red X right here. That's where the cast is living while they're in town. Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner, Ashley Green, and even Joe Jonas will be residing at Perkins Row throughout the filming. These other X's represent the bars that they've been sighted at. Joe Jonas and Ashley Green were spotted at Fred's on Friday night. And the cast were at Boudreaux's and Thibodeau's right over here last night. Very exciting stuff. Here's some of the shots of Twilight cast in action. Look, it's Joe Jonas on set petting a dog for some reason. 
And here's Jonas and Ashley Green, cuddled up at Fred's, now the most happening bar in Baton Rouge. And Taylor Lautner even made it out to the Saints game on Sunday. Too bad that was a disappointment. That's all for your Twilight Lookout today. Tune in again next week if you want to continue to stalk properly. Back to you, Ben. Thanks, K-Squared. I can't wait to go find where Joe Jonas lives. Halloween is just around the corner, and you know what I'm craving? Candy. Senior Asian correspondent Anthony Wynn gives us a sweet idea of what to expect this coming Halloween. Time to totally hang this with one of my fave topics ever. Brisky, I'll be yapping about candy for show. Dude, man, there are some really gnarly and delicious candies out there, and some that are totally not awesome. Like, totally? I think chocolate is like my top fave candies ever. Chia, like totally. Chocolate gets me on that cloud nine, and I don't think I will ever get off. But the one kind of chocolate that is totally rad is definitely Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Totally the bomb. Totally. A mouthful of cookies in every bite. Some of y'all may hate me, but I totally do not like candy corn. Don't even bother giving those out on Halloween. Kids like me would totally throw it out immediately. I'll never forget the first time my mother gave me candy corn. She said, here, Louis, this is candy corn. It's corn that tastes like candy. Like totally, Halloween is the raddest holiday ever. You get free candy. That is so tubular. Chick Oh my god, this is the best candy ever. Shockingly, famous people likes candies too. Craziness. The Fergalicious Fergie totally has one of the gnarliest candy videos out there. Totally. Miss Kamikaze Katie definitely brings the sweet to California. Yeah, man. The grass is really greener. And a not so famous creature, the gummy bear, comes to life. Like radical. So, for the gnarliest show on Target TV, The Ramen, I'm Anthony Nguyen. <laughs> totally. Totally one of the raddest stories ever. Totally. I hate candy corn too, though. <laughs> well, I need to fulfill my sweet tooth, so busy yourselves with these commercials. 